Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Um, okay, so today we are taking a look at the Uno Synth Pro editor, software editor. New editor that just came out from IK Multimedia, which makes programming the Uno Synth super, the Uno Synth Pro super simple, very easy. Okay, so that patch brass swell was designed by James Dyson. Um, James kindly sent me over a pack he's been working on, which will be available for you to buy soon if you've got a Nuno. There is a link to James's YouTube channel in the description of this video. So you can go and check out different packs he does for different synthesizers and stuff like that. Also details on how you'll be able to get this pack when it's released. I'm not sure. James is in the chat, so I'm not sure if it's actually um, out just yet. So but this is called Brasswell. Okay. Having the editor makes life very, very easy. You can manage your presets here. You'll see I put this in his new bank, and this is all of James's patches from this new Uno 80 pack he's been working on. And I've also already installed them in there. Very easy to install as well. So we can go and choose any of our any of our patches obviously uh, let's go to one that i made the other day if i can find it so i made uh this one which is like a polyphonic brass and i will say also we'll go back to synth i will say also that i did if anybody who's watched this the other evening um anyone who watched this the other evening i had to take that video down because of earth noise now can somebody tell me is there is there any earth noise or does it sound okay it should sound okay to be fair because i did some tests but uh oh okay, there you go the uno the uno 80 sound set is out now if you want to buy it from james go to his youtube channel <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Okay, so let's take a tour. We have access to our three oscillators. I guess the best way to do this, let's go to an initial patch here. Okay, so we have three pages of information on the editor. We have the engine page here, then we have the matrix, which is the mod matrix. You have 16 slots of mod, so 16 mod slots you have all these sources for modulation and then you have all these destinations okay so we'll get into a little bit of that as well and i don't want to go on for too long i just want to cover the basics then on the third page we have the effects we'll get to those in a moment right go back to our synth engine part here we have our three oscillators here and then you can, of course, you can control everything from the screen. Like if, if we're on, I think we're on filter one or filter two. If I just hit over to filter one now, you can, you can control everything from the screen as well as the, the software. I'm using my key step, uh, Artorio key step 37 to play this. Okay, so I'm not seeing my hands in the way. Then we can load patches from elsewhere we can save patches to elsewhere and this is where you would store a patch so for, say for instance if i hit store now i'll go oh it's a user preset well we could we could rename this as um, test patch okay we'll call that test patch and we'll save it to use a preset, the preset slot's 38, so that's fine. But if you wanted to save it somewhere else or overwrite another preset, you just open this menu here and you're good to go. You can just choose where you want. We're gonna save that there and it goes, it goes 138 now, it's called test patch. And this is the patch we are messing with. So then we have our mixer between our three oscillators. Then we have our filter section, as you can see. We have dual filter, which is always nice. Resonance for both filters, and we have key tracking for both filters, and also envelope amounts for both filters. So, not going to hear nothing at the moment. 
we've got no envelope going on so let's give it some amount and Let's give it some amount for envelope two, but in reverse, and get the, we'll give envelope two some resonance. Up the tracking. Get rid of that clicking. Then we have various filter modes. We have a low, uh, I can see it's a low pass, is it low pass, is it? Low pass, uh, low pass zero degrees, low pass 180 degrees, low pass, high pass zero. And then a complete bypass for, if you don't want any filtering going on there. So this is just one oscillator so far. Let's give it a bit of, a bit of release. And then we also have here, our LFOs. Now we need to root our LFO somewhere to hear it. So if we go to our matrix, let's let's choose a uh, mod slot four, for instance. Let's go LFO one, and let's choose say I don't know uh, oscillator one wave. And now it's just it's just tracking through the wave of oscillator one. We have linear exponential logarithmic. We also have a fade in, which is very nice. So if we So that's but hi Dean. Uh, who else is here as well? Hi Clayton. Hi Dean. I didn't expect many people to be watching this afternoon. You see, but uh, hopefully, if anyone's interested, they can watch it later, can't they? Okay, so there we go. So there's our LFO. I'm going to take that off the matrix now. LFO one, and we'll just take it off and leave it. Put it back on velocity, and I'm going to set this to off. Okay, so let's just quickly set up some modulation for the actual uh, mod wheel. So I'll show you, because this takes two slots. You, for anything that, like after touch and things like that, you'll, you'll uh, modulation things, sometimes you'll need two slots. So the first thing we'll do is we will choose mod wheel for the source, and the destination we will choose modulation two amounts. Okay, so there's nothing in slot two. This is what this refers to. Modulation two amount is whatever we're going to put in here. So what we're going to put in here is LFO one again. And this time we're going to root LFO one to the pitch. And we're going to give it some amount to do here. And we're going to give it some amount to do here. And as soon as I push my, you'll hear it, but only slightly. So we need to go back to our engine now. Now I've got my mod wheel open. So now we've rooted our mod wheel to our... <laughs> Dogs going nuts. Rooted our mod wheel to our... our sorry, our pitch. To our mod wheel. But we need to increase the amount. And decrease that. So we've got, and bearing in mind, I think I still had my fade in on as well. So now it's going to be instant. So there you go. That's just one oscillator. And then if we go over to our effects, let's add a little bit of maybe chorus uh, or, or flanger. I like flangers running really slow, actually. So. And let's give it a little bit of, uh, we'll leave it on ping pong, delay. 
We've already created a really nice, really quite a nice sounding patch. Let's do something with the, let's, let's increase the, let's give it something to do, the filter. Let's have it the decay of that filter really low. And let's push the resonance up so we can get we get that Tom Sawyer vibe. <laughs> Okay, so we've looked at our LFOs, we've got some modulation. Very cool. <laughs> it's very nice. So there's our two filters and we're still only on one oscillator and we're still on the gar so i'll go back to an initialized patch so at the moment we've done uh everything bar this and i'm gonna add i'm gonna save this because i quite like the sound um we've done some modulation so you you guess how that works and we've added some effect but no reverb we don't need any reverb on this patch <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go store and I'm, I'm going to change this now to, from test patch to um, brass uh, uh, brass delay because it's got some delay on it um, and then just save and it's done and now we've overwritten that so like let's go and have a little bit longer another look at another another thing right so we'll take a look at the paraphonic initialized patch will only give you one oscillator the other oscillators are the levels are turned down they're, they're there but they're turned down and this is where you will uh, need to understand how paraphonic works so it's not quite like polyphonic although you can get like kind of polyphonic vibes going with it but it can be more a lot more interesting than polyphonic in some ways as well so let's bring up the levels of the other two oscillators and i'm going to change this to paraphonic so i'm also going to change that to a square wave i'm going to change that to a sawtooth and leave this on a triangle wave uh, but to make it more obvious what I'm talking about is I'm going to take this one up to uh, an octave above and I'll take this one to a, let's go so I can just get it in there, an octave below. So the first note I play on the keyboard will be the, the first oscillator. The second note I play on the keyboard but after I'm holding down will be the second oscillator. And I'll bet that's slightly out of tune, isn't it? No, it's an effect up, so that's fine. Yes. And then the third one will be this. And vice versa, whichever way you go. So playing like this. You can get some interesting effects. However, you might want to do that. So let's create a pad but using square waves. And let's reset our tunings to be the same. And this is where you'll get a more, more of a, a polyphonic vibe going on. We just need to 
There we go. So now we've got this. And we can add some noise, but we don't want to yet. Let's set up our um, envelope for the start off to be a little bit more pad pad like in behavior. And we're going to need to also let's just basically emulate the filter cut off for the, the, the filter envelope with the uh, thing and then we'll give it something to do. So that's that's quite nice and we've got some FM amount as well for oscillator 2 which is that little tiny bit give it some noise now and we're gonna give it some drift but we're gonna use we'll use LFO 2 so we wanted to slightly emulate detuning oscillators go to our matrix and we'll choose um, let's see we'll choose LFO 2 and we will choose pitch and we'll go back to our engine here at LFO 2 and we'll give it a little bit of a, a, a jolt here But what we're going to do, we're not going to leave this on a on a on a sine wave because when oscillators drifted back in the day, they dri high vortex, they drifted, they drifted like erratically. They weren't, they were never held in tune. If we look at our oscillator, uh, our filter uh, LFO here, we have tons and tons and tons of different wave shapes. We have our, our sine wave, we have a, a triangle wave, very similar to a sine wave. Actually, sometimes triangle waves are better for modulation, like a pitch modulation. Then we have a ramp up, ramp down, square wave. Uh, I think that is a random, and then that's a sample and hold. And this one is what we want. This is like a smoothing sample and hold. So if we go back to our, and give it loads, And then go back to our engine and turn the rate down. Let's turn the noise off just for a sec. And then give it less. Now we're getting that wibbly wobbly. Vibe going on. And it's just a matter of dialing it in very subtly until you're, you're happy with the result. Let's have this re trigger. Now we could. I'm not sure if glide works in paraphonic, but anyway. Very nice. So, cool beans. Let's move on to our effects. Now we could do some more modulation routing, but we don't really, just, just for the moment we won't. Because we've got enough going on. Here's the drive. This is like, this will add kind of a distortion. It's 
very, very nice. Got too much noise. I'm going to dial that back a lot and then put that about there. So some modulation now. Let's, let's have a chorus. Now, you've got different types of um, chorus. So this is kind of strings. Now, if you're not wearing headphones, I would suggest you put some on um, just to have a listen to this because it sounds really nice. Let me have a chug on me vape. So we're going to choose a stereo delay uh, because we can set the different timings for each of these delays like if you want mono you'll see you'll get time feedback filtering that's low pass filtering um high pass filtering for the top end of the thing i think stereo which i'm going to use which is gives us a separate time for either or we don't we won't have it synced we'll have it free running then you have a doubler and then ping pong and then uh, left center right so left right center left right center but let's go with stereo and let's set these times at qu quite different rates but quite slow let's give it a bit more feedback because this is a pad some people so we use a delay on a pad because the delays are kind of used for uh, like plucky type sounds sharp attack sounds and fast release sounds which is true it of course sound brilliant with plucks and stuff like that you've got, you've got to have if you've got a sequence you've got to have a bit of delay like a bit of one eight dotted <laughs> always sounds good so it doesn't interfere with the syncing sort of thing but for pads delays like this with kind of long long feedback tails which rust the filter up a bit as well everything you're doing you're doubling up it's nice that's really cool so now let's go with some maybe reverse reverb Lots of it. Very cool. Okay, so there's another there's another patch we've built. Let's set store this one. Let's call this one uh, square pad, and that'll save to one thirty nine. Save. Okay, cool. Oh, very cool. And what we're going to do is check out some of James's patches, which I start to load from here, from 150. And there's a couple of ones uh, I want to, I want to try and find it again. Dee -dee 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 -dee. They're well worth, well worth it. They're all good, by the way. You can pick any of them, and they're all great. Oh, that's good. Gibson lead. This is actually. I'll put that in. It's really nice. I mean, just watch me volume. Surprise, there's a lot going on. Ooh.
That's brilliant, James. That's awesome, that is. I bet there's some ring mod in there. Yeah, look. <laughs> oh, wow. that's really, really, very, very good. Mono plucker, mono plucker, mono plucker. Got to be careful how you say that. Mono plucker. Let's see. Let's see what we've got going on now. Um, do, 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 do. There was one I was I was playing with earlier, and I thought, oh, what's this? Something. Let's just got to be. Oh, here we go. What James has done here, he's got the mod wheel routed to filter one cut off and the resonance as well. Brass swell. I did that at the very beginning. Brass swell, I think. <clears throat> So you can, this would be nice with an arm. I tell you what, this the, the synth is capable of. Oh, this, this. Listen to this. I and I, I like so. I I'm I'm, I'm going to mess with this. Here's that. It's not a lot going on, right? So I'm gonna. Oh, I've got me up on hang on. All right, I get it, James. Based on the move, move right? Let's see what we got. So you can see that there's loads and loads of patches in. I think there's 80 patches. If you're if you've got one of these and you're interested in in James's pack, he's got a couple of demos up there as well of the pack, and the pack is now for sale, of course. Uh, let's see what's this. Gotta watch me. That's nice. If you haven't already struck the like, folks, please strike it now. Or if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. This would be a good one to show you some of the different effects and uh, the reverb settings.
Wie wär's? And Spring So let's see. Move mini. I'll definitely. That's insanely deep. It's epic. So we're nearly done now. Um, destroyed play. Oh, that's nice.
guys thank you very much for joining me where we had a look oh you yeah these are your settings as well so you put your info this is available from the IK Multimedia site for free. It's not, it doesn't cost you anything to download the editor. Of course, you will need to own an Uno Pro, either this version or the keyboard version. The engines are the same, so it's, it's, it's no difference. So master tuning, pitch bend range here. We've got it set to two semitones. But we can set it like for more. And uh, then not behavior, uh, MIDI interface. If for some reason when you load the if you've got a new no pro and you load the editor and you're not getting any sound thanks vortex and you're not getting any sound just check the midi input and the midi output are set to uno pro and then you'll be okay i must say thanks to paula ik because when I plugged it in there, I, I couldn't, I wasn't getting any sound and it was all hooked up properly and everything was working. I'm thinking, oh, that's weird. And he said, yeah, just check the MIDI input. And he was right, my MIDI inputs weren't, weren't set properly, so yeah. We've got some aftertouch action going on here somewhere. Yeah, if I drag that up more, the more aftertouch is going to tune, detune, and tune oscillator two. Oh, and oscillator one. Check it out. That's cool. Anyway, there you go. I'll play uh, another couple of. Oh, what's this carpent carpent bass? We'll play another couple of patches. Well, I'll play with this patch whilst you are saying ta to each other guys thank you so much for joining me today where we did a second look at the uno pro editor because my first one was plagued with a with a an earth loop from somewhere couldn't have it i didn't i didn't like it it was really bad so this is called carp and bass thanks guys and i will see you all later